31st December 2018. This is the eight years old female pale golden retriever. Okay, now the complaint is about this non healing wound on the back leg. Huh? Now, actually, in April she, she came, the wound was still much longer and was raw, so the dog had been licking it. So, when the dog licks it, of course, it doesn't heal. But I noticed huh, since she came in in, uh, in November, November for the Pymetra, where there was a big discharge from here, and this part was much swollen. Her blood test shows that uh, there was a serious infection of the blood. You see the total white cell count is 36.5, which is extremely high. Normally it should be 6 to 17 for the total white cell count. It means there's a very serious infection, almost two times the maximum value of 17. 36 means that uh, there's really a lot of bacterial infection. Now, to prove it, you look at the neutrophils. Neutrophils normally is 60 to 70 percent, but this one you can see is 93 percent. Now, when it's 93 percent, that means the body is producing a lot of neutrophils to fight the bacterial infection. Now, the bacterial infection is actually inside the birth tubes, the womb, the uterus, huh? it's full of pus. So there was discharge here and uh, the dog was really sick. And the look at the absolute number is 33.98. Acid number means the total number of the neutrophils. Huh? Now normally it's only 3 to, to 3 to 12. So as you can see, that time she was really in a bad shape. Uh, she was toxic with the bacteria and bacteria infection on the blood. And at that time I saw the wound was was actually quite long as well, it wasn't healing well. So the reason for that was because the dog had blood-borne bacterial infection and so the body couldn't really fight the, the, inf the infected wound here and also the internal, the uterus huh, at the same time. So she was given treatment, antibiotics and for some days, huh, I think for 14 days, about 14 days. So actually I'm surprised because Definitely, I, I remember this part was quite long, correct? Yes. Uh, and, and then you can see this part actually is closing very well. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, due to antibiotics, I would say, and the removal of the toxic blood, the body is able to fight the infection here. Because this, this part has already been removed, the bone. How many days ago? See here. So, I, I already sprayed the gun. Even the, even the stitches have, dis have disappeared, so the uh, stitches are here after I remove the stitches. But they, they are they are they are dissolvable, they, they can self self dissolve put in two stitches actually. And uh, this will dissolve by itself. Eh? So the dog is very healthy now, one, one two kilograms. Now as far as this is concerned, I would say the owner can continue washing it and I will apply a bandage here. Now there's another treatment. Eh? But which I don't need to use now. I inject the steroid in, in here, in here, which I may do, and uh, then I bandage up. Normally, it will close, the wound will heal within two weeks. After injecting the steroid in, it relieves the inflammation, and uh, with a bandage around, then they will finally close this part. But actually, from what I see, it's not really necessary. You know? Because it, this this part is really not, not swollen, okay. not painful as you can see that. Not much painful. So can you do that? Okay. Just clean, then apply the cream and I teach you how to bandage. You, you, you. Okay. Uh, but you gotta change the bandage every three days. You know? okay. I give you the elasto plus, a sticky one. You know? okay. And then uh, so if it's not necessary then I won't inject the steroid because it's really on the on the point of healing. But so she just wash it twice again. You can see, and then after that, I apply a bit of the cream on it, a bit of the cream once a day. I mean, apply and then uh, bandage up. So we do it for three times. That means every three days, you, you, you take out the bandage, you wash it, apply a bit of the cream, a bit, uh, touch of touch on it, very really lightly, and then bandage up again. So I give her a, a, a course of antibiotics, and uh, it should heal finally. Since April, right, it was really 
very stressful to the owner. But the, the problem was that the dog really had an infection on the bloodstream. That's why he didn't heal well. Oh, nice. We just see the dog that In fact, the owner wanted to do dental as well. But at that time, at that time, I couldn't do it because the dog is quite old. And then uh, this will be done later. But you can see the color is very good. Huh? You see it's pink color. Right? The dog has excellent appetite, right? Did you, did you clean eyes or not? Is there any eye discharge? No. no. Do you clean the ears? No. Yeah, you have to clean the ears. Uh. Cut the hairs here. Uh. Uh, and then clean the ears. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's the painful. So there's some ear infection. Mm -hmm. So I just put the, I give the ear drops and just massage it. Uh. Mm -hmm. okay. And let the dirt come out. Uh. And this like an old dog, if you maintain them well, they won't get blood-borne bacteria, uh, which is called bacteremia. Uh, sometimes from the ear infection, and in most times it's from the the birth tubes of the uterus because this dog was never spayed when young. <coughs> now if she had been spayed when young there would be no problem. Can you see this part now? Now you can see that the private parts have gone back to normal. Not swollen as last time. No discharge, it's pink in colour. Huh? There's a normal colour. And this lump here, which was used to be very big, also due to leaking I think. And it's smaller now. Now this is a tumour actually, you know. It's a tumour. And uh, since we, we didn't bother the dog too much, then I wouldn't disturb it. So by right, it should be removed. Now I just check the oil glands. I check the oil glands for you. And uh, see whether there's any inner and insect infection. Or not. If not, if not, then other than that, the dog should be quite healthy. Check here. Express the oil gland. No, this looks okay. That means she can discharge herself, no? the oil. So, there's no infection, so it's very clean, there's no oil coming out. You can see the tail is not bitten. Huh? Now the tail is very dirty, do you notice or not? Huh? You really got to apply the shampoo and give you rub, rub, rub. Very dirty. Huh? You see? Also you rub a lot and then rinse off. Huh? Many things huh, you have to maintain the, the coat. Huh? Yeah, notice some part also injected. Huh? This all goes to the garden, right? There is this. There's some infections here. Huh? Come this side now. You can see that. Huh? Oh, a lot actually. So that, that might explain the, why the dog is itchy. Huh? Because, because the Oshim bought, is it? When the Oshim? The shape all bought? We don't shave all bought. Who shaved for you? My mom shaved. Can she shave all bought? Can. There's a lot of infection there. Eh? And this thing is very hard to wash with the hairs around. Huh? The best is a shape board. You want to talk to your mom? Yeah. Huh? Okay, stop it.